Welcome back to Just Add Seasoning. So it's official. I emailed Supreme with my conf order confirmation number. They emailed me back, and I'm definitely not going to be getting my Dunk Low Bark Root Brown SBs, which really sucks, but oh well, there's nothing I can do about it. On a bit of a brighter note, on Thursday just gone, I got a notification saying I've been selected for the exclusive access for a restock of the Jordan 1 Low Berlin Greys, and that notification came to my phone whilst I was asleep still. I slept in after working late on my last video, so <laughs> I didn't manage to get those either. Until later in the day, I checked the app again, and there was literally one pair of size UK 8 just randomly appeared again on the exclusive access for the Berlin Greys, so <laughs> I've got a pair of size 8s turning up. I'm usually a 7.5, UK 7.5. Um, so yeah, expect a video coming up about the Berlin Greys and whether going half a size up is any good or not. Let's see what has been added to the upcoming tab on Nike Sneakers UK slash EU. So First of all, we, we can see today's drops, which were, well, today when I'm recording this, you probably won't be seeing this on the day they dropped, but we had the Hirachi Screen Greens and the Air Presto Crimson Siren Reds. Both were in drawers, actually. I didn't realise they were in drawers when I made my last video. Um, I'm not surprised that the Hirachis sold out, because a lot of people like Hirachis, especially means this is, that was an OG colorway. I still don't think there's money really to be made on those. The Air Prestos sold out as well, which did surprise me. Um, they're still not on StockX yet, but I don't think the Prestos have dropped in that colorway in the US yet, so maybe they'll go on to StockX, but I can't see them making money. In fact, I see them making even less than the Arachis would make you. Moving on, what we got coming up tomorrow, or possibly when you're watching this, it might be the morning that they drop. <laughs> Dunk Low Pro SBs in Blue Chill. These are dropping on the 13th of March, which is a Saturday. Who doesn't love waking up earlier than they need to on a Saturday? Um, I absolutely love this colorway. It's it's one of the best colorways I've seen in a long time that isn't like a super special collab. Um, these are, if, you, if you're into motor racing of any kind, you'll recognize these as the Gulf Oil colors. The Gulf Oil colors were probably made famous, first of all, by the Ford GT40s that were racing in Le Mans and won a, a load of Le Mans 24 hour races in the 1960s. As we can see from the description here, the Dunks actually first came out in 1985 and on the, on the side of the shoe and on the tongue of the shoe we can see a 58. That 58 is presented like uh, like the number for a car would be presented on, on the Gulf Oil racing cars in various different seas, uh, series and different car manufacturers. Um, and the 58 is like a reverse of the number 85 because obviously they came out in 85 but also the 5 and the 8 look like an SB as well so I think that's quite a cool feature on those, I like that a lot. The fact these are SBs and in fact they are Dunk Low Pros as well means you can see from this top down view especially the whole shoe, the whole shoe throughout is really really padded which is going to be so comfortable to wear. You can also expect puffy laces which are always great on SBs you can expect, um, with these you can see uh, printed on the insole that they've got the Zoom Air technology in the heels. And apart from that, you can also expect super, super grippy soles on these. Especially, you probably won't be able to see it on the recording I've got here, but the circle um, right on the ball of your foot. That isn't just a plain circle, that's actually got little the little grippy stars on. You know what I mean if you've, if you've seen these before. Um, and that's, that's a, a little quirk of the, the pro versions. Let's have a look at what they are saying on StockX. So on StockX they are called the uh, Nike SB Dunk Low Club 58 Golf. Golf obviously referring to uh, the Golf Oil Colors. At time of recording, the high on these is a US 12 or UK 11. That is 284 pound. At the moment, you'd take home 255. Obviously, considering these retail at 90, yeah, 90 pounds, that's huge. I personally think they could go higher than that because they are a such a such a beautiful colorway, but also because they are SB Pros, 
they're going to be super sought after because they're so well put together, so padded. Um, skaters are going to be dying to get their hands on these. Um, you may have noticed the transaction fee on this at the moment is 7.1%. That's because uh, StockX are running some 25% off promotion, which only lasts for 24 hours. So that'll go back up to the standard 9.5% soon, but uh, just a little segue there. Um, on the lower side, we've got two sizes, a US 6.5 and, and a US 7, which both roughly translate to a UK 6. They sort of translate to a bigger UK 6 and a slightly smaller UK 6. If I was that size and I had the choice, I would go for a US 7 because um, with the uh, with the SB, well, with, with SBs, because everything's so padded, uh, it leaves slightly less room in the shoe for your foot. I mean, obviously the padding does, after a while, sort of uh, stretch out, but early on, they'll be quite tight on your foot. So some people do tend to go up half a size just to accommodate for that in the early stages of owning the shoe. But yeah, on those lower sizes, uh, you take home 186 as it stands, which is still a nice little profit, but as I say, I think they're going to go a lot higher than that. Um, and I think they'll sell for higher than the current high um, if you hold on to them for long enough. There again, not everyone has the same taste, so who knows, maybe not. <laughs> okay, now we're back in the sneakers app. Let's move on to the other sneak we're looking at today. On the 19th of March, we've got the Air Max 95s in collaboration with Kim Jones. I actually really like these. I'm not a huge fan of Air Max 95s, but I think Kim Jones has done a fantastic job on these. There's a lot of features I like. These are dropping in two colorways. The one that we got on the app at the moment is Total Orange. Total Orange is dropping worldwide, basically, um, on the sneakers app, and is the orange that you can see on, on the shoe before you. <laughs> the other sneaker that's dropping is the exact same sneaker but it's in Bolt, it's just called Bolt. Um, for anybody that's followed Nike for, for any period of time really will know that Bolt refers to that sort of highlighter yellow sort of colour. Um, anybody that's got uh, a Nike Apple Watch will know that Bolt is the, the colour on the little circles on the on the Apple Watch uh, sport band as well. The Bolt colourway um, is actually only dropping in the UK which is obviously exciting for me and exciting for anyone else um, who is from the UK who watches my channel um, because Kim Jones is from the UK, he's, he's from London, I think he's from Hammersmith to be really exact. Um, but yeah, I personally if I if I had a choice out of these I would like the Vault version um, just because that little bit of extra exclusivity sort of does it for me there. Um, my Probably my favourite feature about these is the icy sole. You can see here, Nike, uh, you got the Nike branding and then the Nike swoosh. Within the swoosh, there's uh, like a KJ that forms like the middle of the swoosh. Uh, it says air. You can't really see on here, but along this orange strip on the bottom of the icy sole, it's got like different PSI measurements, um, pounds per square inch, which is referring to the, to the pressure of the air in the sole, I assume. Overall, I do think he's done a really good job with these. For a bit more of background on Kim Jones, if you don't know who Kim Jones is, um, he was the artistic director of menswear at Louis Vuitton. You might recognize that title because in 2018, Kim Jones swapped roles to Dior Homme and Mr. Virgil Abloh took over from his position at Louis Vuitton. Whilst at Dior, Kim Jones' biggest uh, sneaker collaboration was the Air Dior on the Jordan 1 silhouette. So if this sneaker's got anything to go by, it could it could well blow up. The only thing it hasn't got going for it is that the Kim Jones name obviously isn't as big as Dior. Everybody knows Dior. Not everyone knows that Kim Jones is the artistic director at Dior. Um, this particular collaboration has been rumoured for a long time on the Air Max 95. The sneaker only went on to Nike sneakers app today. So on StockX, there's barely any bits so far. Let's check that out. In fact, there isn't even any imagery yet. So on the cell, you can see there's only one bid above retail, and the others are just tiny little bids from chances, basically. The thing that does worry me with the resale on this shoe, however, is the retail price of £190. That's a very high starting point, which means you've got to sell 
on stock exports significantly more than that to make back your fees and make a profit. It's not impossible. There are, if you, uh, let's have a quick look at Air Max 95s and I can show you some examples of how that's possible. If we saw from highest bid. Cool. So we can see here, um, Air Max 95 Coral Studios, highest bid of 501. 95 what the Air Max, highest bid of 395. Um, that what the Air Max is using the, the Volt colorway that I mentioned earlier. Uh, this OG Neutral Olive is using the Total Orange that Kim Jones is using, and that's going for the highest bid of 359. So it's possible that the Kim Jones name will push those sneakers higher than those prices, but it just it just depends how hyped it gets over the next how many days we've got. Drops on the 19th, so it's got it's got a little bit of time to to grow a little bit of hype, and then of course once it's out, if it sells out, I think it will sell out. Then more hype will build uh, on StockX after that, and of course on all the various social media platforms that have sneaker bloggers on them. I think that's really all the detail I can go into on the drops that have been added to the sneakers app today. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.